We are here to be conscious instruments of creation. As it's put in this creation story in Genesis, to tend and keep the garden. In other words, to let life proliferate among us and on the planet. To allow the, the power of life to come through. The power of love to come through and do its work. Yes, the power of love comforts us as human beings. But far more. So often people want the power of that comfort, the power of love, and all the gifts that love brings. But those gifts alone don't get us there. They don't stop war. They don't bring peace. They don't recreate human culture. They don't bring life on this planet, those gifts alone, the gifts of love. There has to be something else. So how does it work? Me as a human being, I want the things that I want. I'm operating on the, a level of intelligence that's centered around either getting by day to day, paycheck to paycheck, or it, for the more ambitious of us, building a bigger and bigger house. And by the way, just how big do they need to be? So we want love, but we want it, want it to support us in doing our thing according to our own will. I think in spiritual circles these days, it's become somewhat popular anyway to say, thy will, not mine, be done. There is the will of creation and the intelligence of creation that we are meant to be channels for, instruments of. An instrument for God's will on the planet. That is our superpower. That is what harnesses love to achieve love's, to achieve love's purpose, which is divine will, which is life and life more abundantly. And within that will is the intelligence, the intelligence of life that we're meant to be conduits of. I want that kind of love. Love that runs through the patterns of creation that are unfolding through human consciousness and therefore in the world. You can keep the stupid love. The, the love that motivates a person to do destructive, perform destructive acts. That happens in the micro and the macro. It's sad to say, but what's happening in Israel and Gaza, it's all, they're all acts of love. You could say stupid love. We need the intelligence that is an inextricable part of the power of the universe that is looking to come through us. If we look at the power of the animal kingdom or even the plant kingdom, that's intelligent power, is it not? If we look at the sun, it's not just raw nuclear power on the sun. That's intelligent power. It's so smart, it's keeping us going. 
creating exactly the conditions for life here. That's smart power, smart love, that is carrying out divine will, the will of life itself, the will of the creator and the will of creation to thrive, to live, to be happy. Do you think it's possible for us to bring divine will into the world without being willful people? Well, the word willful sometimes means full of human will. But still, do you think it's possible to be devoid of any will coming through you, having any will, and you're going to create and bring the divine will? It's like, and it's just happening? I think part of the spiritual path Part of the path to spiritual maturation is moving through a phase of things where creativity is happening in spite of you. There's enough willingness that it can happen, uh, enough goodwill, and enough, enough openness. So what do you think we are in all that? Is creation, creativity happening in spite of us or because of us? If it's happening because of us, that implies a consciousness of creation, a consciousness of will. Not my own will. The will of creativity. The intelligence of create, creativity that's streaming through and the intention that's within creation itself, reality with a big R itself. And I'm part of that. I am part of that. I am an instrument of that. And that is my superpower. That is our superpower to allow that to come streaming through in the multifaceted way that is implied by the fact that we are individuals. We find not only what makes us different from each other, but we find what makes us the same. The one voice that is all of us. Speaking and singing the one voice of the universe in our unique and individual ways in this chorus that we make together, but which is harmoniously and intelligently put together from above.